how, you're happy with the tie? You, you had trail two nothing. You had a great second period, and uh, Burke uh, really stole the show there yeah. in the overtime. What we're trying to do is not, uh, you know. For a team that hasn't won a whole bunch, this is going to sound like a pretty obvious answer, but we're not focusing on results a whole bunch. Uh, we're not going to start now because the expectations are better this year. I'm happy with the effort tonight. Our execution late in the game, not happy with it all. Uh, we're a resilient bunch, and, and we've been that way for, for four years since, since we've been around. I'm not taking the credit for that, but... Getting down two nothing on the road easily could be five or six nothing with with a team like that. We hung in there. We made a couple plays in the second period. I, I really liked our kills in the third. I thought we had a couple good kills. Um, put ourselves in an unfortunate situation being down a man. Uh, all in all, happy, but not happy with the last five minutes. We we are still a team, and you could see it. Union was playing to win that game, and we were playing not to lose it. And and there's a difference. That team is two years removed from a frozen four. We're two years removed from two 11th place finishes in a row. We're finding ways not to have good things happen. And, and guys on the bench are saying, let's go win this thing. Let's not wait for something bad to happen, but they weren't able to do it. So the intensity and the work is there, but the poise and focus just isn't. And you've got guys like Carr and Gostasper and, and, and Bodie and, and every, every Champini making plays, and we're holding our stick and just holding on for dear life. So yes, happy. And I know that's the long answer, but there's work to be done. Well, as Ken alluded to, the play of Burke in overtime and the two saves on Carr, uh, those were... Yeah, I mean, I, I think you guys know Daniel better than I do as far as a player, but he's a he's a he's an All-American type guy, and you give him opportunities like that, he's going to score. And Tommy made two big-time saves. Those were his two best saves of the night, arguably. And um, uh, uh, obviously, I, I'm more concerned with how we got to those situations. Than, than, than the saves. I'm happy he made the saves and I'm happy for Tommy. Um, we know he's capable. Uh, from our perspective, we're going to look to make changes and not let those plays happen, not turn over pucks with those guys out there because it, normally it'll hurt you. Talk about the penalty kill. I mean, how important was that against a team that's had a nationally ranked power play? We, we, it, it, it's been all week. We, we told our guys last year's series union swept us at Bowling Green. Their special teams was just way better than ours, period. And we told our guys, and our, our discipline wasn't great. I didn't think all the penalties were were, uh, were bad penalties, but I thought a good handful of them were. Uh, we cannot take that many penalties against a power play like this. And they, you know, it was in a 3-3 game, they scored two power play goals. It's it's just not good enough. But I was happy with the two kills in the third. I, I think it was two. So. All set, guys.